power bins are the fastest way to reuse assets here in DaVinci Resolve across several projects. So you no longer have to head into your file system, drag in the assets that you want into every single session, right? In every single project. No, we can just create power bins and they will instantly be available across all of our projects. All right, but first we of course have to set these up. So to do that, head up here, make sure your media pool is showing here on the edit page. Come up to your three dots, click that and make sure we show power bins. All right, let's pull this up just a bit. So your power bins by default have just one master power bin. And then maybe we'll head into our standard bin here. And let's say I use this clip all the time. I can drag it right from here into my master power bin. And there it is available for me to use across every single project here in DaVinci Resolve. Of course, I don't have to drag in from a standard bin. I can also drag in from the file system. So if I constantly use you know, certain callouts or endings or something like that, I can grab them here in my file system, drop them right into the uh, power bin. And again, they will be available across every single project here in DaVinci Resolve. But of course we can create our own power bins. So I have several different endings, you know, callouts and things like that, that I use for this channel, the digital channel. So I might want to come over here to my power bins, right click, do a new bin, and I can call this Benoni Digital. Okay, so now we have the Benoni Digital folder. I can then head into my file system, grab all of the assets that I use over and over, grab them right here, drop them right into that power bin. And now let's head in to a new project, doesn't matter which one, we'll just say this one here. And now we're in a different project. If I look at my standard bin here, I don't have any of my callouts that I need, but no problem, I have my power bins right here. Boom, grab that maybe grab an ending, throw it right in. And I didn't have to come into my file system and pull those in every single time, right? Power bins are a huge time saver when you're reusing the same content, the same assets between several different projects, okay? But it gets even better than that. So I also use several sound effects all the time. I use them over and over and over. They have their own folder called sound effects right here. So instead of trying to drag these in individually, you know, or coming in here and creating a new bin, calling it sound effects, instead of doing that, let me just uh, remove that bin. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna drag the folder in to my power bin area directly from my file system, okay? So here's my sound effects folder that I use all the time. I'll just drag it right over to my power bin section, drop it and boom, would you look at that? It imported that folder, it inherited the name, and it has the entire contents of that folder. Just that easy. Now, be aware that if I were to add an asset to this folder, let's say this uh, video, this horse video clip, just drop that in there, it's not going to update automatically over here in your sound effects, all right? So just keep that in mind that if you add some new things to a certain folder, you might wanna just drag those into your power bin as well. Now you should also know that if I was in a folder here, let's say this wrong buzzer clip and I delete that, that will affect what you see in your power bin. As you can see, now that effect is gone because it's not in the same location when it was originally linked, all right? So let me restore that. And uh, we'll just skip that one there, that's fine, okay. So now we have that file back and we are free to use it again across all of our different projects. I'll head into another project. And right here we have our sound effects folder and all of our sound effects ready to use, ready to drag in. And I didn't have to come into my file system and drag them in one by one between every single project. But again, it gets even better than that. So I have several different brands. Uh, for example, let's head in here to like these logos, callouts, and motion graphics. So several different brands here, digital, the audio brand, the tech brand, the gaming brand, right? And I use all of these depending on the video that I might be working on. And I already have these structured and laid out in a way that I want within this uh, master logos, callouts, and motion graphics folder, right? And then I have these nested uh, inside, okay? So we can also do this. Instead of dragging in, say, a sound effects folder, where all of the media, the audio files in this case, are already exposed, we can also drag in 
uh, nested structured folders as well. So I don't need this Benoni digital folder here. I'll just right click it and remove the bin from my uh, power bins section. Then we'll head in here and I'll just grab this entire folder and watch this. Bang, right there it is. It imported that entire folder. It inherited the name. Of course, we can always rename this. If I click on that folder, then within that folder are all of the different brands laid out here. So again, I can immediately access whatever video uh, you know, project I happen to be working on. I can immediately access uh, the assets that I need for the different uh, you know, YouTube channels that I might be making a video for, right? So all my callouts are ready to go. I don't have to get, I don't have to head into that file system between every single project, grab my call out, you know, from the actual file system, drag it in, then uh, use it. No, it's immediately ready to be used right within our power bin. And that does bring me to the subject of organization. Now, while you could just come to say your images folder, and let's say you have a bunch of loose images, meaning not categorized in any single folder, they're just laying everywhere, right? You could have a bin, um, say new bin, maybe call it, uh, I don't want it, see, I don't want that bin nested within there. I want it nested within the, uh, within the master there. Just call it images or pictures, or I'll just call it um, pics for now, right? So let's assume that I have images in here that I'm using all the time across several different projects. I could import them from my pictures folder. I could import them from several different drives and just basically have a mix of different assets all from different drives. Now you can do that, right? You can do that with your power bins, but I wouldn't suggest it uh, because it's too easy to accidentally delete something that you need, okay? So I use arrows a lot, for example, right? So I would actually take my all of my arrows that I use let me just uh, copy that. And I would put all my arrows that I use within a folder, preferably on a non OS drive, doesn't have to be just preferably, I'd make an individual folder just for the arrows. I'd put all of them, uh, all of them in here, let me control and uh, paste that arrow in here. And then I have an individual folder that's not in my pictures folder. Uh, if it's video clips, it's not in my uh, you know video folder. If it's music clips, it's not just loose in my music folder. No, I have individual dedicated files for each of the types of assets that I use over and over. And this means it's gonna be much harder for me to accidentally delete something, right? So then I can just grab this folder, drag it in here, or if you want, you can always uh, create a new bin. Again, I don't want that in the pics folder. So just uh, so just make sure you're you know starting in the master bin area, unless of course you want to nest you know, folders within folders, which you can do. You know, if you have a master picture folder and then you might want to, uh, you know, uh, create a new bin just for, you know, uh, horses or something like that. You know, you can have that nested within your pics folder and have things organized like that as well. But in this case, I could come in here and, of course, create a new bin. Call it arrows. Of course, it would have been much easier for me to just grab the arrows folder. But just want to show you all the ways that you can do this. Then I could head into here and just grab all the arrows that I want, or maybe I don't want these, for example. Um, let me just grab these and I'll deselect those and just drag that right in there. Very good. And once again, let's change projects. Here we are, completely different project, but I still have all my arrows right in here, ready to go. I didn't have to dig through my file system and drag in a bunch of you know assets that I'm just gonna, I know I'm gonna be using over and over. No, they're immediately ready for me to use and manipulate however I want between all of my different projects here in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so again, power bins are a really great way for you to be able to reuse those assets that you're constantly using, whether it's your logos, call outs, video clips, audio clips, sound effects, music, whatever it is that you're always using over and over and over, stop wasting time by dragging in the same exact assets over and over and over between all of your different projects and just save time, create your power bin, or as we showed, drag in those entire 
folders, even folders that have things nested in them, dragging the entire folder into your power bin area and all that stuff will be structured and ready to go across all of your different projects. Look at that. So much faster than having to head into that file system over and over and over. So open up DaVinci Resolve 18 right now, create your power bins. Again, if you forgot, come up here to your three dots and make sure you are showing your power bins. Now, if I hide the power bins, everything is still there. We didn't lose anything, all right? So again, three dots here in the media pool. Again, media pool right here, three dots. Show your power bins, create your power bins, either by dragging in a folder or by right clicking saying new bin. Again, rename all this stuff, structure it however you want nest folders within folders, you know, and no longer will you have to head into your file system over and over and over just to use those assets that are commonly used between all of your projects. So once again, that is how to use power bins here in DaVinci Resolve.